Hello. Or maybe not. I'm just gonna run. Am I gonna redo the video? Hell no. I'm just yeah. All these things. <laughs> I'm really, really tired right now. That's why I wanted to do this video. Just because sometimes you gotta do videos when you're not at your best. People are gonna see you at your worst. I'm not crying. Not for smoking weed, because I'm really, really tired. <clears throat> I'll tell you a story. I was at the Hawk Lookout, just north of the, San, um, the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a very, very top, peak, top point to look at the city. And I was hanging out there, and I was told by some really adorable hippie couple that you could, you know, it was like, it was open all night, and you could park there, and blah, blah, blah. I was half asleep and some asshole cop just started blaring everybody's gotta go lights blaring just real dick and I'm half asleep and I'm high as fuck I know you guys to go to sleep I have to you know and I can't drive that's one of my rules and this prick was making me break my rules I was pissed I was not happy about that it's the first time this has ever happened so what I did was I drove down the road it was still in the park to another um, another outcrop lower down and as I was sitting there trying to just figure out what the hell I was gonna do and I was just like really freaked out and, you know, my whole body was just bad nerves were just frayed right I'm like, son of a bitch I'm like fuck it I can't drive I'm, like, I'm not driving so he's just gonna have to be kicking me lower and lower until I get to the street or whatever so I was trying to sleep I might have gotten a couple hours I don't know I was just waiting for the asshole to blare and tell me to go and as I was sitting there in the lower parking lot, people were driving by, just pissed off and yelling, and just and they'd park there for a minute and talk what an asshole the guy was, and everybody leaves. And he never came down that far. <clears throat> but at five o'clock in the morning, I got out of there anyways, and I had hit San Francisco. Went through the toll booth. I think I paid, but there was nobody there, and I couldn't. I was like, "Keep driving, okay, fine. I keep driving." Anyway, so I'm in San Francisco, it's 6.30 maybe. I got some water and ice from Safeway. Right down the street from the uh, Mausoleum Museum art thing. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure out my day, you know. And there's parking spots, $30 a day for parking there. That's a campground. I'm not paying money, that was the whole point, I'm trying to make money, not there was free parking. The little, the Oriental guy, Chinese guy, what did you just call him Chinese guy? Pretty much, they run San Francisco. So he was telling me that they do the sweep in the streets three times a week, and that's why they mess with people and give them tickets when they're parking. He thought that was bullshit. But I went down to that little, to the Maritime Museum, and there's parking on the side there. And it was just filthy bums, and I'm just like, how the fuck am I gonna sell my art when I'm not even comfortable? And it's only four hour parking, so in four hours I'm gonna have to get up and find another parking spot, and by the middle of Saturday, it's gonna be nuts in San Francisco. And I was already getting that, that you know, I was trying to, I was doing the instincts. What do I, what do, I do, what do I do, what do I do, you know, using my intuition. My intuition told me to get the fuck out of San Francisco. And in half an hour, I was out, I was in Pacifica. That's how quick I got the hell out of San Francisco. That's unheard of. If you go to San Francisco in the middle of the day and you try to go from the Maritime Museum to Pacifica, it's gonna probably take you an hour and a half <laughs> if you're lucky. I don't know, just there was nobody. If you're gonna go through a city, that would be one of my things I was gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about intuition and the signs that you see, numbers, two two two, three three three, four four, that kind of thing, on your phones or whatever. These are signs that but anyway, <clears throat> my intuition told me to get the hell out. And yeah, and I did. I mean, I wanted to sell my art in San Francisco, but the vibe was so bad, I just had to get the fuck out of there. I was like, this is not working for me. I, I can't, can't sell my art if I'm so uncomfortable just being there. I mean, I'm, I'm stressing myself over shit I haven't even done yet. That's my way though. I'm always trying to plan, look ahead, trying to do the, send the tentacles ahead of yourself to kind of see, you know, psychically look at the road ahead of you. <clears throat> but yeah, I couldn't stay in San Francisco. I had to get out. And I can say where I'm at.
California is a long coastline, but yeah, I'm just gonna go until I drop. <laughs> I don't know. Shit's getting weird. It's fucking bullshit. Anyway, so the intuition. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I I got sleep, so I was able to drive. And when I did, I was like, oh, this sucks. So I found another spot without signs. That was another thing. Do not park, no parking, no parking anytime. No parking anytime. All over. From Pacifica to Half Moon Bay. Everywhere. On every every fucking patch of ground off of the road. Literally walk driving into a state park on the sides, on the dirt on the sides of the, the little stretch going into the front gate. Do not park. I mean like there was a hundred on both sides, like you didn't get the fucking point. And they don't want us anywhere, apparently. If you're poor, they don't want you in California unless you're doing their dishes, scrubbing their toilets, or babysitting their kids. Californians are either super rich or they're getting the fuck out. That's what Californians turn into. It's it turn into the impoverished, impoverished and the super rich, like Nancy Pelosi and that douchebag Newsom. But I digress. But yeah, yeah, the rich people running the show, they're, we're peasants. And they don't want us around their beautiful surroundings. What are you going to do, right? I'm poor. Get over it. But anyways, let's go back to your intuition. These are things you need to work on. This is what I've been running on from day one. My intuition, went, intuition was telling me to get the hell out of Dodge, and I did. And I, and I didn't look back. And I'm still running on it. And there's signs. Like, one of my readers was telling me about, and this is funny, right? Before all that, she goes, and one of the things the spirits want me to tell you about is be careful of trespassing. And she also taught, told me about pink flowers. Something about pink flowers. And the whole drive down Fort Bragg and into the coast and going back in, pink flowers on the sides of the road. Beautiful. Little, they look like um, orchids. I even saw some today driving down after I left San Francisco. Those to me are, it's basically me saying that that's my intuition. That's the signs the universe tell me I'm on the right path. When I see 444, I really get comfortable because that's, you know, letting you know you're on the right path doing the right thing intuition is important too just the vibe you get right if it, the vibe ain't right get the fuck out that's all my that's like Miami Vice kind of shit right <laughs> if you get bad vibe you get the fuck out of there <laughs> sorry pardon my French that's I love old movies especially the, you know. anyway so I got tired I'm gonna ramble for a minute but anyway um yeah you trust your intuition you're an empress and an emperor blah 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 I love you, God loves you, the universe loves you, I want you to rock it. And follow your intuition. The signs are everywhere. If you're if the universe is giving you signs, they're everywhere. They're smacking you upside the head. So pay attention and go accordingly and find your peace and happiness. Okay.